The Cincinnati Police internal investigation on Kyle Plush's death is now out. And it doesn't point to anyone being responsible. Instead, it's being characterized as a system of breakdowns and failures in communication. The now Tom McKee has gone through that report. He's live with what it concluded. Tom. Well, this is the Cincinnati Police internal investigation that was delivered to council members just minutes before the 9 o'clock hearing this morning at City Hall. It covers communications and officer response. It concludes that the uh, emergency operators, the call takers, were acting properly and following their training that April 10th afternoon. It also says the police officers respond acted properly given the information they had at the time. But still, Kyle Plush died. We can sit here and we can, you know, Monday morning quarterback this thing, and but the reality is, you know, there were some failures and some breakdowns and we have to do better. Cincinnati Police Chief Elliot Isaac summarized the long anticipated report Monday on the Kyle Plush case. Kyle called 911 while trapped in his van in a Seven Hills school parking lot. His cell phone was in his pocket. He used Siri to call for help, but dispatchers could not hear him. Operator Harris heard Mr. Plus. Mr. Plus, who she believed at the time to be an elderly female state, help me, I'm going to die. I'm in a van at Seven Hills. A second call gave more specific information to Amber Smith, but that wasn't passed along to officers Brian Brazil and Edsel Osborne. Just to respond for an unknown trouble, the call taker heard a female stating, help me, I'm stuck in the, inside my van, I'm in the Seven Hills parking lot. The officers drove near the van where Kyle was trapped, but their body cams showed them on the scenes for 14 minutes and never got out of their car. Their explanation was to, to cover more ground. There were multiple lots to, to check, higher, higher vantage point, and also the opportunity for them to both look from both sides of the vehicle. The bottom line in all this? The 911 phone system did not fail. The 800 megahertz radio system did not fail. The CAD system did not fail in its entirety. But the chief said the CAD system experienced some intermittent technical problems. Five of the 12 call ticker workstations were also experiencing these CAD connectivity issues. And Operator Smith's uh, CAD computer was running slow and had experienced some errors. Ron Plush, Kyle's father, listened to all the testimony and spoke publicly for the first time saying the system has to be fixed. I do believe we can get there. Anyone that has doubt needs to know that Kyle will give us the strength and guidance to get the job done. Very, very emotional moments here at Cincinnati City Hall. As we've reported extensively, the 911 system is already under review for fixes in terms of technology and staffing. Coming up new on 9 News at 5, much more of what Ron Plush had to say. Again, it's the first time he's spoken out publicly. Tom McKee for the Now, live at Cincinnati City Hall.